Hi, Joe. How are you? Fine. That's that's a great background. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, I am in the documentary myself, actually. Um, no. Just so first of all, um, how did uh, as you know, you were a singer, you're a musician yourself. How did you get your start in music? What does music mean to you as a person? Music means happiness to me. I think um, that's a very basic term, but um, it brings a lot of joy to my life, a lot of positivity. I think that's more of a better term. Of, uh, I feel positive. I, I don't feel um, any negative feelings when I'm around music. Um, mm -hmm. Singing also brings that same kind of feeling to my my energy, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. So um, I, the way I got started in music was just from my mom uh, listening to music and then also just being around um, the community. Mm. Wonderful. So who first approached you to be part of America the Beautiful to collaborate and what, how early on in the process did you know about it and want to participate? Yeah. Sean Carey asked me to uh, be a part of uh, a, a song that uh, my brother Dylan Jennings and I were were kind of in the same uh, in the same boat together. Uh, we were already there um, in studio with Sean doing a few things, um, but uh, he then approached us um, after the studio session that he had this opportunity, and he sent the song that uh, Joe and him kind of worked on, and um, we went from there. That's awesome. So you you have already worked with Boniver. Uh, in the past was how how often do you collaborate with them I guess <laughs> um, and what is that process like uh, we've coll uh, collaborated with Justin and the gang uh, as much as possible mm -hmm. um, whenever he's around and whenever he feels the time is right where um, you know the, where he wants to uh, really kind of have us along um, <laughs> last year in Duluth he called us kind of last minute and asked mm -hmm. us to be a part of his uh, his strip down show. There was only three of them there, mm -hmm. uh, but Dylan and I went and sang with him um, just, you know, uh, uh, on a drop of a, a call. So um, it could be, you know, next week. Um, it could be, you know, in September. Uh, but we, you know, we, we, we keep that open phone line and open email all the time. Oh. So it, it really could be anytime, but we do it a lot. It's been a great friendship. Oh, that's so cool. So of course, like, you know, working with a friend is always very nice. Um, no reason to say no to that especially when it's a National Geographic project, but what was it that spoke to you most about the concept of America the Beautiful or the piece itself that you really wanted to take part in? I think what they wanted to highlight was uh, indigenous places, but also indigenous voices. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that, you know, they didn't show too many of our, our honey holes there, but we, you know, indigenous people have been living in this land for a long time and we know what to get from it. We know the, 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 the fruits of, of what they give to us uh, from, from the land, you know, how to survive from the land, from the earth. Um, I think uh, that's just, you know, science is catching up to our, our beliefs in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people to see that visually, I think is important because uh, then they can see for themselves that, yeah, you go a little further off the highway, there's some uh, pretty uh, beautiful sites. Um, but I think what America the Beautiful wanted to highlight was the indigenous parts of the land and, and why not do that with the music and the score of the film or the, yeah. the scene. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I was so impressed by just like getting to see different communities as well as hearing that music like we're talking about, especially because when it comes to this country, it was founded on, you know, founded by indigenous people and their way of life and beliefs. And yet it's something that we don't often see. Um, represented on screen only just now where are we getting series are we getting a documentaries like this what does it mean for you to be part of that process of opening that door to really showing the indigenous side of life uh, it's important for me to be a part of that just as a, a young uh, native person mm -hmm. uh, I think there's men and women that are, that are that needs to be highlighted in, in lots of fields that can really bring light to the indigenous aspect of, of uh, you know, what, what our viewpoints are in, in certain uh, areas of, of concentration. Uh, you think about, you know, what, what Dylan has done with uh, Wisconsin DNR and, uh, you know, things like that, where, where, where people are actually doing things to, to change the perspective of, of our, our neighbors and, you know, people who might not uh, think about uh, different communities and what they do, um, you know, year round. And that is always taking care of the earth. And I think, you know, America the Beautiful is only going to highlight, I think, a lot of what 
um, is out there. And a lot of what we see, uh, you know, we, we want to take care of this place as long as we can. And just, you know, being stewards of it is only the, the, the beginning of it, you know? Absolutely. Did you get to see, have you already gotten to see the documentary or how much of footage did you get to see? At any I've, on, I've only gotten to hear what we created. And then I've, I've only seen the trailer, which looks amazing. It looks, <laughs> it looks amazing. It certainly does. So when it comes to the process of creating yourself, what does that look like? What inspiration do you take in the moment? What conversations do you have with Sean Carey? Did you speak with Joe Trepani- Trepanese as well? Uh, I, I've not spoken with Joe only only over his uh, over uh, you know Instagram message mm-hmm. and congratulating me over my my personal album. But uh, with the the way that it works with Sean is is kind of like with Justin. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, even with the, any other friends of ours, you know, they just kind of you know they might not know how to approach us. Or, you know, they don't know how to slip it in that hey, can you sing on this or you know what I mean. But I uh-huh. think it's just you know we we kind of expect that you know coming from them like hey, bros, I have. I have something for you to maybe sing on. Let me know if you're you're down for it. Um, when he said it was National Geographic and and for for, you know, I could only imagine, um, you know, what was going to be put on the screen. Uh, I think when I was creating this, I was really kind of putting myself into um, what what Sean sent and uh, the the period of the the song that he said to sing over um, was a really floaty part and it was a break in the song. And uh, that's when I felt like I should, that's definitely where I should be coming up with something. Uh, I did listen for it. I li- did listen to it for a while, but mm-hmm. anytime that I'm doing anything collaborative, I listen to it for a long time and just kind of immerse myself into the, uh, what I'm hearing. So what is the most challenging part of creating music for you? If there is, if there is any challenge whatsoever, <laughs> what, at what point do you? <laughs> I, I think, I think I've, I've been more comfortable with doing things on my own right now, mm-hmm. but anytime that we are in person in the studio or being able to you know, use a better microphone or to record in a better space, I think that's a little bit um, more easier for me to kind of work in that environment. But when I'm at home, you know, I can, you know, get it, as quiet as I want, you know, with kids and, you know, things going on in the background. But, you know, I think just, you know, the challenge of, of you know, recording together is always a, a great um, yeah. tool to have when you're creating. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Especially after uh, years of isolation for some of us. So, <laughs> um, yeah, indeed. Now, you mentioned uh, that the, you know, the communities that are shown have like kind of like their own ways or their secrets about how to help conservation. Conservation is really like the goal of a documentary like America the Beautiful. Do you have any advice for viewers who want to help, who don't really know where to begin, what, how to become either more in touch with nature or just more actively prepared to help? I think you should definitely, uh, you know, learn from from scientists or people environmental uh, workers or professionals that are telling you uh, these uh, are coming up with these helpful ways for you to even just uh, garden something in your backyard um, just learn how to uh, you know self-sustain obviously um, Dylan is a, a great uh, self-sustainer <laughs> uh, he has you know a mini farm on on his on his on his property oh wow. It's just, you know, he has a lot of, of working things on, on his mm-hmm. properties and it's, it's, it's not much, but he's doing his part. I think everything, every, everyone should, should at least, you know, try not to, to litter, litter as much, mm-hmm. but I think, you know, just, <laughs> just, just take care of, take care of your surroundings and your, and your home, your home fires, as we say, and just, you know, just really um, be more, you know, concerned about, you know, environmental issues when they're, especially if they're local. Mm. Uh, if they don't pertain if they don't pertain to your living area it doesn't mean that but it, it'll affect you you know right you know, just because you can't see it from your house doesn't mean you know it's not going to affect you in some way so i think uh being being more mindful i think mm. people should should definitely be uh putting forth in their minds absolutely so what is the next step for you musically professionally what are you hoping to get into next i just released a collaborative album with uh, Andrew Roder. And right now we are working on, you know, 
uh, the release show at uh, First Avenue, Seventh Street Entry. Um, after that, we might, you know, we're, we're looking into some places to go and perform. So um, I'm always looking to record drum groups also. So just the, the, the indigenous music side is always going to be perpetual, it seems. But right. um, the, the new uh, contemporary indigenous music side is uh, just beginning. So uh, we'll see where this goes from here. And um, yeah, it's been it's been great. Yeah. So finally, finally, then, how what is the I guess you'd say like the conversation between you and your community when it comes to music? How do you engage with your indigenous community as a musician? I think as a powwow singer, it's it's always just uh, you know they know that you're there, and I, mm-hmm. um, I think that you know when when they need help for for certain you know singing occasions, I, I know that they can come and ask a singer to be there at their, at their family's uh, wake or funeral or, you know, at a wedding or some kind of type of, you know, they need a, a song sung. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a song for everything. And, you know, as a, as a young Padawan myself, I, I've, I've not learned all those songs. So I consider myself a student still. Mm. Um, so I think the, the relationship between um, a musician and a, a indigenous person is, is not that far. Um, but, I think you know to 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 approach a singer and to approach a musician, a native musician, is a lot easier than you think. <laughs> so, uh, just just because you know they've they've played on a few stages or you know they they know how they're always touring or something mm-hmm. like that. I've I've reached out to some native musicians before this album even was even thought of, and they've always responded to me and they've always accepted uh, what you've had to say to them. So I think the the role between community member and musician in indigenous communities is not that far because usually all the communities uh, have, you know, great musicians. So yeah, that's what I would say. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. It's lovely to talk to you and I cannot wait to hear more of your music now that I have had my first taste.